So baby girl, welcome to Let's Play the Battle of Olympus. This game came out in 1988 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was released one year after Zelda 2, from which it borrowed its action-adventure game mechanics. Now in the backstory, the hero's name is Orpheus, but I'm gonna change that to Xavier. But the heroine's name is Eleni, Greek, not Helen, English. But I'm really not going to change that name. We're just going to call her Lily. The game is set in ancient Greece, Peloponnesus. We begin our adventure in Arcadia by breaking into this old man's house. He tells us to go to the Temple of Arcadia to talk to Zeus. Alright, let's go do that. Yeah, it's like Zelda 2 in the towns. There are people to talk to and some of them will give you information like that. But I'm not going to talk to everybody. Here's the first and weakest enemy in the game, the Worm. It takes only one hit with your club to kill it, but these guys are pretty annoying for a weak enemy, the way they drop down on you. Wow, I'm getting lucky with these drops. There are two different kinds of enemy drops in the game. Those red circles are olives. They're basically the currency of the game. And the other thing that I picked up was a bay leaf, which will restore one bar of your health. Frickin' jump! Okay, screw it. Moving on. Yeah, you don't have to fight these worms if you don't want to. You can just walk underneath them and they'll miss you. But I'm doing it to get the olives early in the game. Oh god, not again. Okay, let's go. Now this house is actually the way to Attica. But we're not ready to go to Attica yet because we haven't found Zeus. Where is he? Right through this white house. But before we get to Zeus, we have a transition room, and boss time against the bull, Taurus. Now his attack pattern is that he'll either pump his leg twice like that, or he'll charge right at you. But the good news is it takes only four hits with your club, and he is gone, and we've got access to Zeus. But you can't just walk up to Zeus like he's a mere mortal. You have to kneel before him because he's a god. And all he's going to tell us is that... He's gonna tell the other gods to help us. Okay. And if you talk to him again, he gives you the password to continue if you die. But in the Peloponnesian world, I'm sure Xavier is wondering why does he have to remember this 26 character string. And what the boss time again? I killed this guy! Well, screw it. I'm not fighting him again. Well, I messed it up. But you can jump over him. It's about 50-50. I'm not gonna restart the game just because I mistimed one jump. We're gonna move on to Attica! Oh god! These little bears with their spears are the most annoying enemy. Even if you know the pattern, it's difficult to avoid getting hit by them. Anyway, let's stab this girl in the face, and she'll tell us that we're in the city of Eleusis. And a little ways down the road is Athens. Indeed, Athens is where we want to go, but what are we going there for? Maybe the guy in this house will tell us. He tells us that the shield of Athena will repel our enemy's weapons, except for fire. He doesn't tell you that part, but it doesn't block fire. Alright, there's a new enemy here. Half goat, half man. Must be the satyr. Yes, stupid little bear in your spear. See, he throws it when you get too close to him. But if you try to jump over it, he'll just stand there and you'll land on him and take damage. Oh man, four of them on this screen. I wasn't expecting that. Usually they just throw the spear and run away. But now we've made it to Athens, there's no more spear chuckers. But there is a new enemy here, the scorpion. It's not very aggressive, it takes only two hits to kill it with your club. It just moves back and forth. But these other guys, the satyrs, are pretty aggressive. They just run straight into you. They're like those Wosu enemies from Zelda 2. You remember them in the palaces? They run at you with those knives. There's an infinite number of them, they steal your experience. Yeah, those guys are easy, but they annoy you. I've been a little sloppy here and taken a few hits, but it's somewhat intentional because there's something I want to show you at the fountain. Did you hear that sound? If you kneel in front of this fountain, you will have all of your health restored. And I will miss this door, but we will enter Athena's chamber. And we'll get our first upgrade of the game, Athena's shield. I'll let it drop and take a look at it before I pick it up, but let's get out of here. Now the shield isn't essential to beating the game, 
but we're just playing through it normally. This isn't another one of my tool assisted speedruns. And by the way, you can use the fountain again to recharge your health. Right here is one of the best spots in the game to grind for olives, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go in this house and talk to this old man. Kelios, wasn't he the king of Eleusis? What do you mean I have to prove I'm Xavier? Take my fingerprints. They had that in ancient times. Well, I guess I'll look out for something, but we'll deal with that another time. Right now, we're going to get back to Eleusis and put this Shield of Athena to use. Don't mind me here, I'm just collecting a few extra olives while we're backtracking. Might as well, but remember what this shield does. The guy said it will reflect enemy projectiles launched at us. So let's try it out. Oh, what now, little bear? Yeah, you better run off screen. I'm coming to kick your ass, little bear. Well, now that we're back in Eleusis, we need to go down the stairs. There's somebody that we should talk to. I could have talked to them earlier, but I just went straight for the shield. Character acceleration works the same way as Zelda 2, so I wanted to build up some speed to make sure I didn't botch that jump. Anyway, sup girl? Alamia kidnapped your child? Oh no. Yeah, I'll save the kid in exchange for a staff. Oh, that reminds me, I never showed the inventory menu. We start off with just the club and zero salamanders, and we got Athena's shield too now. Alright, it's boss time, for real, against the archer, Lamia. Let's block those arrows. See, the way that I fight her is, let the arrow hit the shield, jump the second arrow, take your shot, and get back before the third arrow hits you. Oh man, there's a legitimate chance of dying here. It takes six hits with the club to kill her. And you can easily jump into her, or if you're too close, the shield won't block the arrows. And her name should be pronounced Lamia. You might have heard H.C. Bailey pronounce it as Lamia in Final Fantasy LPs. But when have you ever trusted H.C. Bailey on pronunciation? Anyway, we saved the kid and we don't have to lift him above our head like Zelda 2. Let's make sure we don't fall in this instant death pit on the way back. I tell you, these pits are my arch nemeses. Just so you know, when you're on a stairway, you can attack, but you can't jump or duck. Anyway, since we saved the child from the Lamia, we can go talk to that MILF again and see if she'll give us the staff. Alright, the staff of Fennel. And apparently it has a mysterious power, but we don't know how to unlock this power yet. Let's pick up the staff and equip it, and next time we'll learn more about that mysterious power, but until then, I've got a bounce and I'll catch you cats later.